Hey guys, this is Koshan. I know this video is hella grainy. Um, and whatnot. But I'm using my computer camera, okay? My computer camera is not that great. No laptop camera is that great. Um, and the previous footage was already grainy. This is grainier. Um, and that's because I was using my tablet on that one. But, you know, better quality grains on my tablet than on my computer so i mean if you want to complain about grainy you can complain about grainy uhness on this one particularly just because i i can see how grainy it is i know how grainy it is all right oh fuck man it <sighs> so let's get into this um if you are new here, I do a series called Why I Hate People. Um, it's usually really short, really sweet, to the point, basically. Uh, because I, I, I don't like people. I really, I really don't. There's a lot of types of people that I don't like. There's a lot of things that people say that I don't like. And I don't really let that be known to anybody. Except for, like, a couple few people. But I'm like, if you have the same opinions, the same views as me, I might as well just say it on here. Okay. So, why I hate people. This is the series. This is a new episode. So, in this episode, it will touch on religion. It will touch on Christianity. And it will touch on paganism. Okay? So, first of all, I am a pagan. I'm not Wiccan. Uh, the big, big difference. Big huge difference years of difference between pagan and um wiccan okay huge ass difference okay so i know this person you know we try to talk to each other more you know be more in contact with each other they're very 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 christian okay that's cool that's cool. That's I. I don't, you know, I was Christian for most of my life. I, you know, I get it. I know the flow. I know how everything goes. So we're talking and basically the whole time that they're talking to me, they're telling me, oh, you need to get back into Christianity. You need to do this, this, that, and the third to get back into Christianity. I'm like, I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, first of all, second of all, um, I don't need it. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. I am good. I'm good with my practice. And they're like, oh, I, I know all about Wicca. I'm like, okay, you might know about Wicca. That's cool. But you don't know about my pagan practice. To totally different things. Two totally different things. So I explained to them a little bit about paganism and the difference between Wicca. And if you don't know, Wicca is an organization, a group who uh, typically have a coven. A, now, a coven is a group of people who practice the same exact form of witchcraft. So basically, they all have this book that they reference from, and that is their Wicca book. All right. But as a pagan, pagan looks so different okay because your practice can be however you want whatever you want it to be um and it's all about the spiritual journey that you're going on and your personal perceived everything right so you know i'm telling her that and i'm telling her you know how paganism is for me and she's like i get you i get you i understand however you should be christian though and I'm like, no. Um, and I have other people in my life who are Christian who don't really care that I am pagan. If they do care, they don't tell me that they care. Um, but they respect me enough to not bother me constantly about not being a Christian. And... I respect anybody who respects me. Right? 
So me and this person are talking. We're talking, right? And I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm having a really bad flare up on my skin condition. And she's like, oh, okay. And at first she's thinking it's PCOS. And I don't have PCOS. If you guys want to know, I have a condition called hydrogenized superativa, also known as HS. Um, and basically it's um, really overactive uh, acne in your sweat glands. Uh, the most common places for it are under the breast, in the armpits, uh, and in the groin area, right? Okay. So I'm, you know, I'm telling her, I'm like, yeah, I'm having a really bad flare up. So like, and I haven't, you know, been able to do much in like eight, nine months. And she's like, oh, okay. You know, trying to tell me basically how to, then she goes on to tell me to try, how to try and live my life as if I haven't spent 14 years with this disease doing everything that everybody else told me. And finding things out for myself on the disease and not disease, it's not on this condition, on the skin condition, you know. She's acting like I don't like I I anyway. That's a whole that's a whole nother thing. I that's a whole nother why I hate people. But so I so I am a person who who will never bring a deity into a conversation that does not need one but she was like oh just pray about it and it will go away no it won't this is a chronic skin condition the chronic pain chronic literal literal chronic abscess is the shit pouring from my body it's not gonna go away if i pray about it to jesus it's not and it hasn't it's been it's been 14 years since i was first diagnosed um and i'm 22 yeah Did I say 14 years? I meant I was 14 when I was first diagnosed. I think I know what I'm talking about. It's not been 14 years. It's It's been 8 years. It's been 8 years. My bad. Not 14. It's been 8. Um, but yeah. I'm, so I was like, I was like, I'm going to drop that conversation. I'm going to drop it real fast. Right? And then... Uh... Like, a couple few times we're talking on the phone, and she's telling me how of places um, in America, because she lives in Canada, but she used to live in America. Uh, she's telling me of places in America that are strong Christian communities. And I'm like, yeah, no. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not moving anywhere for your satisfaction. Okay, first of all, I lived in Indiana. Indiana is very strong with their faith of Christianity. A lot of churches, a lot, a lot. Basically a church on every street corner in Indianapolis. Okay, that's where I used to live, okay? I know what going to church looks like. In every aspect, every every way. Okay, I was a choir girl. I was in choir. I was in church choir for years. I was on the praise and worship team. I was a youth minister. Yeah. I don't think I need anything else. So... I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, no. You know, I shut that down. I'm like, no, not moving. Literally just move. Not oh, nine, almost ten months ago. I ain't moving nowhere else. I had to move again. 
into where I am right now. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Okay? No. Mm -mm. No. Prices are too expensive. Nobody's moving nowhere. You ain't getting me to move. Okay? So then, a couple weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that, uh, she's talking to me. Not really. She kind of talking here and there sporadically. And then she sends me a Christian life hack. Now, I'm not one to send people religious or political videos unless I know that they're okay with it. Okay? I Like, I can send one of my brothers, aka my homeboys. I call my brothers my biological brothers, my actual brothers, my homeboys. Because I don't really have friends. I don't, I don't have friends. <laughs> I don't keep friends. Um, so my, I send my homeboys, you know, little funny, silly little memes. Okay. I'll send them a little video. I might have a little, maybe Christian judge to it. You know, some, sometimes it'll be like the last supper pain. Why does it look like Jesus decided that he was going to split the bill instead of paying for everybody? Like he said he was going to. That's, that, that's the, that's, you know, that's the stuff, you know, that's the stuff that I sent. Um, and I'm like, I'm over it. I'm, I'm over it. I am a full really grown adult. I've told you my boundaries. I've told you, no, I don't, no, I don't want to talk about me being Christian at all. I've already told you why I stopped being Christian, the various many reasons and I was like I'm I'm just done with somebody telling me that yeah they respect what I do and then blatantly go behind go behind me but in front of me to tell me <laughs> I actually don't respect you enough to leave you alone with your with your own and I'm the person who, I have many Christian friends, okay? I have many Christian friends. I've helped Christian friends with their faith, okay? I have. I've helped Christian friends with their faith. Because I know what it feels like to slip, to feel like you're slipping a lot and not have anyone who is in your circle your Christian circle, help you. Every, somebody who's not, somebody who's in your Christian circle, not help you. When you are feeling low, they're like, ah, baby, just pray about it. Just, just pray about it. That's how you got to, just, just pray about it. But all you need is somebody to talk to and somebody to get advice from. So, you know, this person took that as, oh, so you can be, Flu religiously fluid and I'm like no no I am just a nice kind person who takes everybody into consideration all the time if you need help with something I'm gonna help you with it I might not have an answer but I can give you a little bit of advice it might not be grade A advice okay it might not be top shelf advice but if it can help you for a little bit till you can figure something out on your own till or till you find somebody else who has uh better advice i'm here i'm here to help you okay if i was asking her for advice on how to be more christian i would ask but i've run off into a tangent like i was saying she sent me a christian life hack and I, I, sh <clears throat> I shut that down. I shut that down real hard. I shut it down with a life hack of my own. A baby witch tip. I sent her a baby witch tip. Because not you going to disrespect me in my own house. Me being grown. You being grown. Uh-uh. That's not going to fly. That's not going to fly. So I said, here's my baby witch tip for you. 
I know that's petty. I know that's petty. But I set a boundary. And I, I, me- I mean my boundaries. I mean them. I mean them so much. Okay? And I set a boundary where you can, we can talk about religion all day long. Okay? I'll, I'll talk to you about religion all day long. But the second you try and press the issue of me not being your religion, your faith, Argo, please stop. I'm recording. Um, that that's 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 when I'm done. That's when I'm that's when I'm done with you. Because how do you not have the decency to just be nice and to just let somebody else live their life, and whenever they're ready. For whatever it may be that they need help with, that you said that they need help with, that they weren't ready to get help with, or they weren't ready to try and go back to whatever that they were doing, that you said that, oh, they should go back to that. Why are you trying to force something on them? Because that's just going to that's just gonna lead them in the opposite direction of where you want them to go. And I'm not the person who's like, ah. Oh, I don't think I could ever be Christian again. I mean, I could. I really could. But. It's the hypocrisy. It's the hypocrisy. How is it. That. You can say. That oh I respect you. And then turn around. And disrespect me. Right to my face. I just want to make it make sense because I just hate people who say, oh, it's okay, and then tell you how bad it is. Even though it's not hurting them and it's not hurting you, you're doing good. You've done more in this other, this other life, in this other spiritual journey than you have ever. While you were going to church, you're doing more for yourself, doing more for the people around you. Not going to church when you couldn't do anything for yourself. When you were. But nobody. Who thinks. That everybody. Should be the exact same. Ever. Ever thinks about that. And that's why I hate people. Thank you for coming. To this discussion. About why I hate people. Um, the next why I hate people topic, I don't know what it'll be, but this is a series that I love because it gives nuance, a little bit of nuance, okay? Because everybody has their own opinion. I'm just telling you why I hate people. Bye-bye.